This story is making the rounds on the net, and indeed, it's one of the better general warning releases about space weather you're going to see in the mainstream news. The article goes over how GPS, power grids, and any electrical system really is at risk during solar storms, and while this activity cycle is not yet at its peak, the sun is already producing more than was expected. When the sun unleashes a solar flare and coronal mass ejection, or CME, it can overwhelm the Earth's electrodynamic system, overloading the atmosphere with charged particles and electric currents and magnetic fluctuations, from the top of the sky down to the crust. And indeed, a big one can send us back to the Stone Age by taking out all the grids, including the transportation and manufacturing sectors, leaving no real way to rebuild, at least not before the lack of electricity breaks down the modern world, and millions, if not billions, lose their lives due to lack of clean water, lack of food, heat, air conditioning, emergency services, hospitals, and more. The sun is going quite a bit higher than expected. The red line is predicted activity values in the 11-year cycle, and as you can see at the black dots, the month by month, we've gone up much faster than expected. We are now expected to go even higher, and while it is possible that this cycle will have a double peak with a trough in the middle, both peaks are likely to outperform the predictions made before this cycle began. But folks, it's actually even worse than this article lets on. The sun produces a super flare every 150 to 200 years, or 163 years since the last one, before there was an electric-dependent world to destroy. And it's only a matter of time before the worst happens. The flare itself takes 8 minutes to arrive as X-rays move at the speed of light, and while most CMEs take two to four days to arrive at Earth, in the big one there may only be an hour or two of warning. By the way, no, those plasma bubbles the lunatics at the World Economic Forum are talking about to block sunlight would not help. Not to block sunlight or a CME, it's just more plasma to be pushed into the atmosphere. Furthermore, what it would take for the sun to end the modern world is decreasing by the day. Earth's magnetic field is weakening as the entire solar system is shifting, and this decrease in our defensive magnetic shield means that a storm that wouldn't have been a huge problem 50 years ago may be a huge problem now. As the galactic current sheet, the galactic magnetic reversal, the larger version of the sun's current sheet, overcomes our solar system, we are seeing changes on all of the planets, the sun, and interplanetary space. Now what these articles never successfully communicate is that we are more vulnerable than we've been in 12,000 years due to the weakening magnetic field, and that the sun is due to swing one of those big haymakers at Earth any time. I hope you are ready to live in a pre-industrial world. It's coming. Learn more with the resources listed below the video in the description box, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.